illustrations change from your first book to now? My illustrations have changed enormous. Like I said before, I'm a multimedia person. I love every medium that's going. I'll try anything. Uh, I love to explore. So the way I would look at it for books, um, I found uh, it depends on the story itself. Now, for instance, uh, I have um, The Stolen Girl, when I did that, that's so different from that one. The reason I did it like that, is like I mentioned before, was that um, Angus Wallum needed to be able to look into it and read it for himself because he couldn't, uh, he had, you know, trouble reading uh, books. So he was more a picture person, so I had to think about well, more about what he would like if he did the book. So I'm, I'm illustrating for somebody else, so I had to think about that. Um, this one was the same. Um, this is a, the stolen girl, pretty miserable sort of a um, book. How on earth will I do that? My paintings that I did have enormous amount in them, political and the rest of it. But with this one, it's a children's book. And when I first started doing it, I've got some illustrations over here. Um, when I first started uh, to do these illustrations, that was my, like the first one. And when I did that, I did it really, really soft because uh, it's a dreamy, um, the girl was dreaming about a mother. So I did it soft, sent them up to Magabala. Um, and they said, no, no, we want it gutsy like your paintings. Um, uh, so it took me a while to, to work out, um, you know, how I was going to go about it. So then I did it a bit more gutsy. I used uh, like um, different mediums, all sorts of different mediums that go in there so I could really get into it and make it um, a lot brighter. Um, so yeah, so um, I um, had to really think hard. It was a bit of a Hard, very hard book to do um, and it took me oh it must have been six or eight books uh, six or eight drawings and paintings before I found where I was going and then my last book the spinifex mouse well that was um, different again that was different again. This is, uh, I lived in the Pilbara, so I had to do a Pilbara scene. So I lived up there for many, many years. Um, so I had bought in the red, I had red on everything my kids did. So this was a um, different again, but I absolutely love doing um, things that do have a little bit of cheekiness to it um, because that's me um, really in lots of ways. Um, my hubby always says I'll never grow up. Um, so it, it's, it's uh, I do absolutely love doing um, adventure and so I had to do that according to the area where we live, the Pilbara. And, um, and that's how it turned out. So really, they're all different, you know. Um, Thank you. Even with my art, you, you can't sort of hone me in one area. A lot of artists, you can look at the artwork and say, oh, that's Norman McDonald's or that's whatever. And you know their work. But, and the same applies with the books. But with me, 